What's up, everyone? My name is Jason Nunn, and I am a former UNM women's basketball player, and I am here with Level Classics to talk about the 2017 Marquette game um, at the pit at home. And I remember being really anxious because uh, Marquette, they were ranked number 17 at the time, and they didn't... Um, they had only played one game, but they were predicted to basically win their conference and um, go on to the NCAA. So their hype was, um, they had a lot of hype. I remember the start of the first quarter, The um, we had start off, started off really, really slow. And we uh, were down by like, it was like nine to zero within the first two minutes. And they had shot a whole bunch of threes. and. Um, we uh, kind of got down, and um, I knew at that point this wasn't going to be like a easy. This was not going to be an easy game. Um, we just had to grind it out because we were good at the time, and they were really good at the time as well. At the end of the half, the first half, I remember going into the locker room, and everybody uh, we were down by like four, five, maybe six points. And um, everybody was um, uh, going into the locker room with anticipation. And we had uh, had this belief. That's when we had a little bit of hope. We're like, okay, we can beat this team. We just have to do everything the right way. And um, our coach, our coaching staff had pointed out our mistakes. We were going to adjust some of our things on offense. Some of things are on defense. And just to make sure that things would um, run a little bit smoother than the things had gone in the first half. In the like the ending of the third quarter, the beginning of the fourth quarter, we had finally our freshmen had scored, um, and it finally put us at um, in the lead. And that was the first time we had gotten into the lead. And when we had scored that, uh, the whole crowd was just roaring in excitement and everybody was yelling and all the fans, um, the local fans doing what they always do is just uh, lifting us up and um, giving us energy going into the fourth. That was kind of the turning point within the game. Um, we had started, that's when it really became a battle when we had scored, they had scored back, and then when we had gotten a steal, they would get a steal back, and kind of this back and forth type thing. And um, they had ended up in the lead in the ending of the fourth quarter, um, with like thirty seconds left to go. Uh, they had scored, and <clears throat> uh, they were up by two points, and we had the last possession, and. Uh, uh, we had called the timeout at half court and coach Mike and my teammates and I had um, huddled up in our circle and he drew out this play um, that was gonna like a last possession type scoring play and so we came back from the timeout got in the court um, Sharice got the ball again and she had driven it um, with like five seconds left to go a baseline drive and she um I was posted up on the opposite block and she had shot the ball and had overshot it thank goodness and um uh the I kind of jumped up caught the ball didn't realize how much time was left and just kind of shot it back into the I didn't even look at the rim I kind of shot it at the backboard and um the girl who was guarding um the Marquette uh, girl who was guarding me or who was in front of me had kind of pushed back um to box me out and when I had jumped she kind of took me out from under and had fouled me and I fell I didn't even see the ball go in um because I was trying to catch myself when I had fallen and um I remember the crowd just roaring and just so, they were so loud. 
And I was really confused because when I was on the floor, um, all of my teammates had gone to help me up, but they started shouting at my face. And they're like, yeah, 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 Jason. I was like, what? What happened? And when I had stood up, I finally looked at the score. I was like, we're tied. Like, oh, I actually made that shot and I got the foul. And I was, I didn't know what happened because it all happened too fast. All the crowd was just like crazy loud. And that was the loudest I've ever heard it. I, the loudest I've ever heard the pit. I had to go up and shoot the last free throw. It was, the time was like 0.3 seconds left on the clock. The uh, the ref had given me the ball and then had asked for it back because not all of the Marquette team was on the, um, had lined up for the free throw. And uh, Marquette was trying to do some weird thing of like icing me out where they wanted some of their players on the free throw line, then would take them out, then put them back in. But I didn't really look at it, look at them, because I was trying to focus on the uh, focus on my free throw. I had, um, I remember thinking to myself during that free throw shot, like I could either make it or I could miss it and have to play another five minutes in overtime and I really didn't want to do that because I was really really tired and I was had played so much during that game and I was like let me make this free throw and then we could be done and over with and so I made that free throw the crowd goes wild and Marquette called the timeout uh, to do a last second desperation play hoping they can get a shot off and last second buzzer beater shot and so they ran that play, they missed a shot, and um, I remember when that buzzer went off, I just turned around and started running towards my teammates and just grabbed them, and it was like jumping up and down because I was so happy, and um, it was one of my fondest memories. Like, I'll never forget that moment, I'll never forget that game, that day, and I just went to bed with a smile on my face because I was so happy. But... Yeah, um, that was what I went through. That's what I remember. And I hope everybody um, is safe and healthy, especially with everything going around. And um, yeah, and go Lobos.